Hi guys. Okay, so I'm making uh, that um, chicken feet. Okay, so I'm gonna copy. My uncle used to make chicken feet, and it's just so good. All the collagen, you know, I love um, cow's feet. I would make them into soup, and even pork, you know, hog, right, or pork um, uh, feet, uh, even chicken feet because it contains a lot of that minerals and collagen. That our, our, our body needs so I'm gonna break this down until it's just like a jelly uh, like and I'm gonna be adding these ingredients okay I have everything ready here like I said I'm the type who cook uh, that way so I have this um, miswa we call it miswa but um, in the Philippines it's just labeled as Chinese vermicelli okay um, it is a brand from the Philippines and this is really good so as soon I'll show you the process and trust me guys this is like a homey homey soup um that is really popular from the philippines it's like a farm like village like cooking but i'm going to be using this because i think everybody uses every filipino uses this so i'm filipino i live in toronto canada okay and um here um patola it is more of a um a lufa um fruit Whereas um, when it's dried, it's a loop for fruit, but then um, it's really yummy as vegetables. Okay, I'm going to turn this down to number actually five. You know what? We'll put it to six. Okay. You know what? We'll put it seven so that, you know, I have everything there. Okay, so I have butter. I have a little um, uh, ginger powder. I have a little um, damagi syrup, right? Um, I added there just to show you I, I didn't want to put uh, all I put one third perhaps of this and I put garlic powder okay I still have I love garlic because that garlic powder is concentrated um, it's probably um, out of the country uh, garlic uh, we bought um, from Jamaica right so it's good garlic uh, and then fresh garlic and of course um, onion uh, I'm not very particular with uh, the um, um, with the onion. It's just to add flavor, okay. But if it's the rule of thumb is usually um, let's say you're eating like a, a type of like a bite-sized meat, so then you're going to um, carve or you're going to cut that pieces of onion same like. So it kind of like you know matches, right? So uh, that's what I usually do. But for this, it's just a small grass board cooking village cooking I love these type of cooking and it's just so naturally tasting good just the flavor of this okay so we're gonna wait and I'll see you guys hi guys so I'm going to be cutting um, the vegetables and I'm gonna be showing you guys how um, the food looks like by the way um, when I was cooking I was I turned on the stove uh, it's a uh, and then I burned so I'm going to be transferring it here. Mm, I could smell these flavors. It's really good, guys. Mm. I know a lot of people won't eat this, but trust me guys, the nutrients and the flavor, once it's done, I'll show you guys, okay? So let that saute for a bit, and you can cover it. Okay, let it simmer. So the flavor. I don't usually add anything um, um, while I'm simmering it. I usually add it um, that way, and then I'll add the, the garlic. And the onion and the ginger. I already put ginger powder there, but I'm gonna. Okay. It moves. Okay, let me uh, let me just it so it doesn't move. Okay. There you go. It's better just look at the gas so I can control it. Mm, I 
could smell. The flavor is really good, guys. Mm. I know a lot of people won't eat this, but trust me, guys, the nutrients and the flavor. Once it's done, I'll show you guys, okay? So let that saute for a bit, and you can cover it. Okay, let it simmer. So the flavor. I don't usually add anything um, um, while I'm simmering it. I usually add it um, that way. And then I'll add the, the garlic and the onion and the ginger. I already put ginger powder there, but... moves. Okay, let me uh let this stick so it doesn't move. Okay. There you go. It's better just look at yes. I can control it. I added that sea pepper. When you survey that pepper it's just the smell. My daughter hates I have an eleven year old daughter who's turning twelve in a couple of weeks so she's you know, hitting puberty and she's, oh, she's not liking the smell that she used to love to eat when she was young. She can't handle any cooking smell and we don't have a good ventilation here. Okay, so see this flavor there? I love um, making sure that it doesn't burn because that will add uh, flavor to the food. Okay, now I'm going to add in that. Alright guys. Ooh, good. It's straight from the, the cutting board that I actually burned when I was presenting it earlier. So we're gonna just curl it. Make sure that that's just I cut um, the nails with scissors uh, earlier, as soon as I wake up after I pray. Sometimes. Okay, so this we're gonna boil this down anyway. So I'm gonna put the onions. I think it's ready now. I don't know if you remember when I was presenting this. Look how I burned it. Oops. Yay! Let's try to have some fun here, guys. While cooking. I love cooking. But before, when I cook, I always rush. I'm always rushing. But my life has always been like that. I overspeeded. I overspeed my life. So. They say life begins at 40. I didn't even enjoy it when I turned 40. So now I'm trying to enjoy um, in a mellow way. Hmm. That's my name. Okay, so guys, I'm going to be putting this more so that I'm going to put it in number, back to number seven. Okay, and oh gosh, the, the smell, the flavor, it's all there. And you know what? Before my daughter gets mad, let me put the puppies now because she's going to be hating this, okay? Just a little bit because you won't taste it later after because it's going to enter into there. Mm. It's going to be. Um. Gotcha. Oh god. I have to turn on this because my daughter is going to get mad. adding some pet chai that um some of it okay just because it will just add flavor to that 
Okay. So just gently um just make sure that the middle part is not burning. Again, that's gonna be creating the flavor anyways. Okay. So just slightly wrap. Oh, the pepper is just smelling good. I'm gonna prepare the chicken because I'm I'm making um coffee flavored uh chicken and cream. I marinated it already, and trust me, guys, um, it kind of broken down the, um, the chicken. Okay, uh, I'll show you guys. I'm the, I'm cooking that. I'm pairing this uh, with this as a meal. Um, it's my first time cooking these two as, uh, for my kids. Really, um, I've never cooked uh, cooking this for them. Although I cooked it before for myself, but they always have eaten it. I have eaten it um, at my uh, my uncle's, my aunt, because he always makes it so good. So I'm, I'm going to try to cut it, but I'm not using um, potatoes. I'm using some, um, like I said, the miswa, the Chinese vermicelli, and I'm adding the patola. And you will see... Okay, I don't want I, I want it to be under 10 minutes. Guys, I'm, I'm going to be adding two of my secret, secret ingredients, okay? So it's going to be this as opposed to water, okay? And this one. Okay, that's why you have to watch my video for you to get my uh, secret sauce. Okay, so I'm going to be adding that. I'm just putting one. One pepper and that will add that flavor that's missing to every cooking there is. Oh, and of course, you know, love, right? My girlfriend um, would say, how, you, how do you cook your egg? How do you cook? I said, when you cook egg and I cook it, it will taste different. And it's true. It's, it's just different. No matter what, right? Why? Because you put love, especially if this is for the people uh, I love. Oh, I'm so passionate cooking it, making sure that they love it. And you could see too if I'm not really in, I'm so tired when I cook. So, oh, sorry for using that. So I will be uh, making not so delicious meal, you know what I mean? But all my meals are delicious. Could, because why I put a lot of time into it it's and I do have a very odd way of cooking um, very different I twist I don't follow um, the standard way of cooking even though a Filipino um, has some you know standard basic you know you gotta marinate the meat with lime and and, and all that um, perhaps but these are soy sauce whichever um, you know um, <laughs> form of sodium you prefer. I don't really put a lot of salt just at the very end to touch. Um, but majority, uh, I put patis. Okay? Okay, see you guys soon. Okay guys, while the, um, the chicken feet is cooking, so I'm gonna show you how to, um, to peel this, okay? I know guys, it's uh, at work, it's a process. But trust me when I say this is so yummy. It's one of my favorite um, vegetable, and it's hard to um, find it here um, during um, winter. So when I do, oh, I buy a lot and I freeze them. So when I'm cooking, I don't have anything freeze. But I'd like to show you guys anyways. That's fresh. Okay. You know what? I love cooking, but I never really um, slice the. I used to have people that slice for me. Okay, so okay, so I'm just gonna show you one, and then I'll okay, and then you you're gonna be cutting it this way, okay? You just cut it. Um, I like it a little thick, thick, so that I can taste that flavor. It's like yeah, so like that, just like that. Actually, I'll show you one more. Okay, this one, just because. Okay, so. I left this outside because I was going to cook it uh, right away. Uh, this part. This part right here. 
Okay, so do this and do that and do this and do it again and do that. And like life, you can, you know, you gotta keep on doing, right? Otherwise, life will do you. So keep on going. Do this, do that. When I say do this, do that, do the right thing, right? In life, otherwise, it's gonna bite you at the end. If there's a judgment, like, there you go. It's not as perfect, guys, but even if you leave a little, um, you know, it's important. You know why um, the cellulose are, are, are there, right? Um, it's good for us to put a little um, coating or cellulose because for our muscles inside, right, to, to uh, propulse it, right? So then our muscles, uh, internal muscles will be strong because it's always propulsing those um, the cellul cellulose that uh, the plants contain, the outering part, which sometimes we do need, but so much is not good too, right? Um, we can't be eating the outer part because our body can't really process it well. But um, like again, at minimum, it's always good. Okay, see you guys. Okay, guys, we're gonna take a peek, okay, of how it looks. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Um, it's not as collagen-y as like how my uncle would. I should have uh, used pressure cooker. I think I'm gonna put them in a pressure cooker. Okay, yeah. Hard. Okay, so I'm gonna add more water. We'll see. I'll, I'll boil for another 10 minutes. It's quite hard. Okay, so another cup of water. Okay, and then I'm gonna add that vegetable and I'll flavor it just with salt, whatever, if, if it's needed. If it's not, I won't add. Okay, okay, and we shall see. Okay. That pepper is frozen. I froze pepper from either from my uh, summer. Uh, I live in Toronto, Canada. I I plant um, pepper, or I bought them. Store bought them. I love pepper in my cooking. It gives that flavor and also smell. Uh, how could you cook without pepper, right? Filipino cooking without pepper, like true Filip authentic Filipino cooking. Anyways, um, a lot of people probably get mad at me when I say uh, pepper just because I love pepper. No, um, that depends. Okay, so it's just my family who love pepper. Okay, so see you guys. The worst is that when you put hot uh, food, it... Um, it will be integrated in the in the soup or the food that you um, you place it on, right? So it's important that you're using a proper um, plate. I know, guys, you guys love the you know the plating, the presentation. I've seen it because I've I, I watched YouTube too. Because I said, you know what, I wanna I wanna get out there my style of cooking, right? Because my my mom, my my um or my aunt used to say that I'm like my mom that when she cooks, it doesn't have much um meat or anything but it's so flavorful right because i put time and i just like those spices and and all that and i like to um make it um you know i, I don't know i love cooking and but i love it cooking from scratch i don't like using any canned you know i want like fresh and all that and i'll i do like to use proper um plate or proper um gadgets in my kitchen um, I've never had any microwave for decades. No, no, no TV actually for decades. No cable, and also no um, unwanted plates or gadgets that is not is gonna create um, toxins or not good for our body. Keep in mind, guys. Right, our body is our temple. God gave us this. If we're not incongruent, we're not incoherent with everything else. God's plan is not gonna work. Okay, guys. So see you guys.